Hello, everyone. So to keep things moving from last lesson, obviously last lesson we installed uh, PyCharm as well as Python to make sure that everything is good to go. On this lesson, what we're gonna do is uh, we will try to start Python, learning Python from the very, very beginning. So let's get started without any further delay. And today our main focus is going to be Python indentation. Uh, and, and why indentation is very, very important. Cool. So that said, let's get started. So your PyCharm, we could just open that up. And that'll open. So this is the first screen you'll see because last time we created a few projects, that's why it is showing up here. Uh, so you can just click on it to open it up. Or if you want to remove any of them, you can also do that as well, simply by clicking here. And then you can just say remove from recent project or delete. You see that thing is gone. Um, I'll remove these other ones as well. Oops. Or if you're like me by default, <laughs> if you just open it up, you can just close it as well. There you go. And we're gonna start a brand new project. This one, let's just call it uh, Python. I mean, Python learning. And then on the interpreter, obviously you have these other options that we talked about last time, the environmental, uh, I mean, the virtual environment, as well as this previously configured. This is the one we want to select, not this one, not the virtual environment. So just go over here and make sure you have three dot something. Uh, over here selected and then from there you could just here you have by default you have to create a main.py script you could leave that on or you could actually remove it as well for this time i'll leave it on for the future lessons i'll just take this out here i'll just hit create and then you have this this screen show up here and then you can just close this out this main.py you can actually delete this as well <clears throat> and from here, we can just let's just create a basic Python. I'll just call it uh, indentation. Okay, we have this file created. Let me just make the font size a little bit bigger. So how you do that again? So you go to file, let me just do it again. You go to file, setting, font. So it's right underneath the editor, click on font. And if you change it to anything you want, and you can see like a display of how it'll look, preview of it. Just hit apply, okay, you're good to go, yeah. So with indentation, what I want to talk about is, you know, many of the other programming language indentation is really not that critical, but for Python, it is. What I mean by that is, let's say if I want to do like, just like a simple print statement, right? Uh, print, let's say, hello world, right? So in this case, if I just want to, just, if I just want to run this, see it worked, which is perfect, right? Now, print hello again. Oops. It would help if you put this. See, you see the little red icon right here? Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's not going to run and you're going to face this. And the reason being is because, as you can see right here on this first line, we don't have, and there's no space. There's no space before, no indentation. On this one, I have that one space. So because of that one space, because of this little space right here, it is throwing that error. If I just delete that space and then I run it again, 
this is fine in that case. Or if I was to write a little if statement, right? If, uh, let's say five is bigger than uh, one, five is bigger than one, right? And then we want to say print, Five. Five is larger, right? I'm going to print something like that. Um, obviously, I'm not. We're not doing if else right now, so we're going to if else a little bit later. But I just wanted to see if this works, right? So this one right here, as you can see. This thing also works perfectly. I don't know if you guys saw that. By default, as soon as I click enter right here, you had one, two, three, four. That's just by default. Uh, Python will just do that. But for some reason, uh, it does. If we even if we put less space over here, like as as long as it's more than more than one, this is fine. So in this case, if I put all the way to the bottom, all the way to the left. See this? There's a little red squiggly line right there. That means there's an there's an issue in there. Uh, so if I was to run this, you're gonna see an error. Okay, this is an error right here. What we have to do over here is we just have to take this and at least put one space. This is the indentation. This is the main requirement in Python, putting at least one one space in here. By default, Python does it for. So you can just do it the same way, or you can just press enter. It'll just go over here. And right now, if I just run this thing, this is fine. If I was to put, uh, if I was to put one space, as you can see, like there's no red line. If I put that and I just run it, this is also fine. Um, yeah, there's another thing I wanted to do, which is, let's say if I have five is this, right? Or now, if I want to do another print statement, and let's say I also say uh, five is larger than two, right? This is also going to work. Let me just run this thing. So you're going to see both of this. But now, as you can see right here, there's both of them on the same, same space right here, same space. Which one space? If I put one additional, as you can see right now, I have two spaces, not one, not single space, but I have two spaces in here, two indentation. Now, if I should run it, obviously I'm going to get an error. Okay, line number seven right here. That's the error that I get. Now I cannot mismatch like this. This print statement is within this if code block, as you can see right here. Right, this plus minus sign right here. This is within this code block. So if I want to say I want to put two spaces, they both have to line up. Now, if I was to run this thing, there's no problem. This is good to go. But what I'm trying to say is that I cannot have one space less or one space more in one or the other. It is it will not do that. You have to line up to make sure that the whole code block follows the same structure. Yeah, guys, yeah, I wanna just keep it at that, keep it short and simple and sweet. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, please do comment below and please do subscribe. I'm new to the channel, please do subscribe. It does help. Um, yeah, thank you so much, guys. Have a good one.